YouTube, it's Bebop 7 here, and welcome back to Nietzsche and the Ox Tribe. Now in the last episode, it wasn't nearly as much of a disaster as it was in the previous episodes, but we were only able to bring two Nietzschelings because most of our other Nietzschelings were too old, or we just couldn't, we just couldn't bring them, we just couldn't get there in time, and I couldn't risk staying any longer in case we lost more food than what we had. And with nine food, and although that seems very, very little, because it is very, very little, that's going to be very good for our Nietzschelings because we only have two at the moment, and that should last them a couple of days while we look for more food sources and slowly build up our food stores. So we, we traveled to the Oasis Island, and we have Crocus and Dianella who are actually able to breed. And luckily for us, Dianella does have lean body. However, she does also have terrible eyesight which we are currently fighting against she does also have a no pot and she has low fertility but um i think if we're, if we're gonna fight against anything i would rather fight against no pot so what we're gonna do really quick is instead of uh anything else i don't think we can even yeah we can't encourage lean body yet either we're still a little ways uh wait no where's lean body there we go we're still a ways away from lean body, but we can encourage big ears. So maybe for Crocus, what we can do for his genetics is encourage some big ears. But wait a second, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna bring this up, and I've got a little more review to show you guys anyway. But I think we're gonna work we're gonna put in claw because we're in the Oasis Island. And the Oasis Island is where we have to do a lot of fishing. A lot of fishing. And somebody actually mentioned that we don't need to really have a lot of water body beach links and stuff because there aren't too many, like, the water is pretty shallow. I mean, it does look to be pretty shallow. I, I wouldn't mind having, like, the gills or water body just in case, though. So if we have a couple of water body beach links and if we have some not water body beach links, that's fine with me. But uh, these guys, they traveled here, and they probably aren't going to have babies for a little bit. We're just going to try to build up our food resources to at least 15 food. At least 15 food. Or we're going to wait until they have like 10 days of life left, you know, to really, um, to really have more babies, to really have any babies. But uh, for Crocus, we're going to look at him. He has high fertility. He's like healthy. He is healthy, healthy all around, and he doesn't have any water body, so there's a bigger chance of either getting water body from her or getting lean body and I would actually really love to have lean body but what we're going to do with him is we are actually going to encourage fishing tail because having fishing genes for the oasis island is uh, apparently very useful and I would really love to have some good fishers but let's look around again and let's see what else I can encourage for you you know what you have stripes recessives Ugh. I kind of want to, you know what, no, we're going to be responsible, we're going to be responsible, and we're just going to encourage big ears, because if we can get heat resistance on our creatures, you know, it's it's better. And I would like to eventually have some more cracker jaw nichelings, because, you know, in our ox tribe genetics that we set up, they are supposed to have cracker jaws. So it'd be nice to have a few cracker jawed babies, but I'm not going to really work on encouraging that at the moment because there are some other genes that we need to have around. Luckily, we actually um, need the fishing tail for our ox genetics if we're going to work towards that a little bit. But we're going to go ahead, we're going to pass the turn. We're going to pass the turn. Okay, so first things first, we need to take a sniff. We're going to let um, Dianella do some gathering, and I think we're actually going to send... I don't know if there's any fish around here. I don't know if it's worth it, but we're going to send it... There are! There are fish! Okay, I don't know if there are any clamshells, so what we're going to do is we're going to send Dianella in this way. Perfect, and we're going to sniff and see... Oh, there's another berry bush there! How great of a spot for us to be! We're going to pass the turn. And there is a clamshell! There are clamshells! How amazing! We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna try to fish up as many of these guys as we can. And luckily, the water is making it cooler for our handsome guy over here. And I do want to get that- Oh, this is like the best place! This is like the best place! Look at this! She has found a wonderful little, little breeding spot! How amazing! Look at this! Two berry bushes, a nest, and there's, there are clamshells here too. This is amazing. We've already almost got 15 food. They can have a family soon. We're going to send Crocus down here to go after these fish. 
But let's go ahead, let's pass the turn. We do want to be careful because there might be things like rogues around and we don't want Dianella um, falling victim to those. So before we do anything else, we're gonna go ahead, fish up, claw at this leech, and we, I think I'm gonna start bringing him back this way. And Dianella, she's just going to go ahead and collect up as many berries as she can. Oh my goodness, we have reached 15, you guys. Oh, that's amazing. You know what, I think it would be okay to go ahead and let them have one child for now. We want to be very, very careful with our population. I think until we have like a really big store of food, I don't ever want to get above 10 nichelings, even 15 nichelings. I wouldn't mind getting to 15, but only if we knew for sure that we had enough food for them. But I think we're going to try to keep our limit at around 10 nichelings at a time, and that's going to be difficult, but I think we can do it. So we're going to pass the turn. <gasps> Rita, why do you have to ruin everything? Can you do any attack? You can't. Oh my goodness. How strong is your mate? How strong are you? No, wrong. There you go. You have four. So I think we're just going to let, we're just going to let Dianella, you know, quietly gather her berries and she's going to scoot out this way. And what we're going to do, I think, uh, we'll let, we'll let you try to dig for now. You actually got us a worm too. We're going to let this, uh, Berina come out here. <gasps> You're actually able to reach her? What? What? How dare you? Okay. Okay, so she is bleeding. This guy is really chasing after her. We're just gonna have her collect one berry. <gasps> Female! Female! Macy! Macy! Oh my goodness, you're so pretty! We're actually gonna send you over here. Oh, you dingbat. Nope. Nope. Okay. So here's what's going to happen. You're going to clean her. And I think that Barina is still really, really close, right? That Barina is a little too close. So what we're going to do, we're going to scoot her a little further away. And I don't want to scoot him too far away because I do want him to attack that Barina. And that, that, ah, we really, really, Barina, really. So we're going to pass the turn. And here's Barina. Here's butt-faced Barina. Oh, I should have left him in the water. But he's got 12 days left. You should be able to take off. Let's see, you've got four strength. You'll take off eight, but I don't want him to attack you. Okay, if there's gonna be something going on, then we're gonna let Dianella breed, and then we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna send her off. Are there clamshells for you? No, there are no clamshells. So we're gonna send Dianella this way, and of course that rude little wanderer is eating our noms, which I don't appreciate. Crocus might get slapped a little bit, but I think it'll be good for him to get rid of this Barina. So we're going to have to deal with that. He's probably going to get hit. Ah! How dare you? Ah! At least you managed to get... At least you didn't bleed. Okay. And you managed to get a lot of food for us. So go this way. We're going to invite this rude wanderer and just get her to stop eating our food. Hello, thank you. I really appreciate you not stealing our food, you butt chicken. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and sit Dianella here. And he lost a lot of his life and so did she. So at the very least, we do have little uh, May CC here. And if we check her genetics, she has seen F, we have DNA, we have H and C. So she actually can't breed with her male, so hopefully we have a baby that will be able to breed with her. And in case we are doing that, we're going to go ahead, we're going to work on some of her genetics. Ah, she has hemophilia recessives. I can't be dealing with the hemophilia recessives. But she also has short-sighted eye recessives, so we're going to get rid of that first. And as annoying as the no paw is, I s well, hemophilia is just always bad. It's just always bad, but... Our nichelings do have perfect blood clotting, so you know what, I think instead we are going to try to get rid of the no paw after all, and we're going to put, it might not be a bad idea to have some nimble fingered nichelings, some nimble fingered babies. I'm just kind of nervous because we probably want to have, you know, stronger nichelings, so we'll have to see. You know, I'll hesitate on that one, I'll hesitate on that one, we're not breeding her yet, we'll think on it. But we do have a baby we can look forward to. Of course that Barina would show up now. What terrible, terrible timing. Are there, is there a baby? No, it doesn't look like it. Let's pass the turn. And we have a double clawed baby. We have a double clawed baby. 
And he doesn't have Fishing Tail. He does have Blindness Recessive, so let's quickly get rid of that bad eyesight right there. He doesn't have Big Ears either, so that's a little unfortunate. Oh, hello, Kiernu Duke. Oh, you have A and C as well. Unfortunately, you can't breed with May Cece because she is C and F. But you have perfect blood clotting, you do have low fertility, you have bad eyesight recessives. However, you are a good fisher. I just wish that you had some more... Hmm, we can send you this way to go fishing, but he's got five strength. So let's go ahead and let's give him a name. Our first baby, Ivan. Okay. We're going to go ahead, we're going to name him Ivan. Oh, okay, that's good, that's good, that's good. So we have Ivan, and we have everybody else, and we all need to do some food gathering. These guys still have a couple of days, so we're going to try not to do too much with them. And we're going to let Macy do a lot of gathering. And then we're going to let Dianella do that as well. But I think, um, well, we need to do a lot. So I, I think we're going to just scoot her here, actually, though. And we're going to let him come over here. They're going to breed again. They won't have a baby straight away, but it would be good for them to just kind of be prepared. And for now, he's just going to start looking for some more fish for us to get. So now that we've done that, we have our berry bush. Oh my goodness, and we have a cute little baby. So excited. We have four nichelings, so we're gonna try our best to go very slow with the baby having, because we definitely, definitely need to be careful with that. But uh, I think what we're going to do, we're going to just kind of keep Macy here for, oh my goodness, you're another, a nice girl. You have G and E, oh, please don't be annoying and take our berries. Just invite her real quick. Someone got leeched. Was that you? And now Dianelle has to worry about you. All of these wanderers just showing up and she has G and E immunity, which means she can breed with Ivan and they should be, she should live long enough for them to have one baby. But she does have two Pause. Okay, good. So she's a good gatherer, so she's gonna go over here. Just come up here. Come up here so that Dianella can take care of you, you dork. Okay. Okay. So I think Dianella, Dianella and Crocus have overall gotten over the scare of the food loss. We're still very low on food, but I think overall they have kind of gotten over the worry for it. And I think that they're going to start setting jobs so that uh, we have continuous work being done so that we don't have to worry about things. Like for one, May uh, Cece would be gathering, she'd be gathering food, she'll probably be clearing out the territory. So that's her job. And her son, uh, uh, Dianella's son Ivan, he's definitely, definitely going to be a fisher and a nice goat. A nice go, of course you have bad genetics, but at least we don't have to worry about no paw. Okay. Did you have big ears? You do have big ears, but we just can't see it because of your cute little derp smell. Oh, that's adorable. That's really good. Okay, so let's see. We want perfect eyesight for you, and we also want normal blood clotting because babies with hemophilia. It's not a good thing to have around. But uh, we're going to go ahead, we're going to pass the turn again. Okay, so first things first, Macy C, you probably should not be in the berry gathering place. Did you just get leached again? You did just get leached. Okay. Why don't you swipe at this guy for now? Maybe come up by your mate so that she can get that leech off you, you silly goose. So we got some more food that way, and I think what we're going to do is we're going to start sending Ivan over here. So that he can work on fishing in this area. Oh, koi fish! How perfect! He should be able to swipe that guy up no problem. And Dianella, I think she's going to come down here, crack open this clam shell, and then uh, she'll probably hop in the nest and have her next baby. And in nice go, we're actually going to send... I don't know. I think we're going to send her over here. We're going to send Macy's Oh, look at all the koi fish! We're going to have so much food. We're going to send Macy's over there. And then we're going to send a nice girl over here so she can watch after the bush. And she's going to stay by Ivan for now. Crocus might be able to get us this crabbit. I would really love if we could get this crabbit, but we'll have to see. We're going to pass the turn now. Oh, 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 oh my goodness! <gasps> Mama Berina and Berina baby! Okay. Okay. We have a bit of a danger here. I don't think Crocus has time for you. I really wish you didn't show up with your baby, ma'am. I really wish you didn't. 
And he's only got one turn. Are you kidding me? Ugh. Is there... Okay. You know what? Instead, I think we might... I don't want Anisko to get hurt, though. So Crocus is probably going to pass away. So we're going to actually... We are going to scoot Ivan a little closer. So he can help out with that. And for now, we're just going to worry about clearing away things and clearing away this territory. I wish we weren't dealing with so many Barinas. But uh, the world is not kind. The world is not kind. Let's take a nip. There you go. At least we'll have a friendly Barina that we can possibly get some Barina treats from, I suppose. She's just gonna try to swipe at this guy. I don't think she has... I don't think she can really do much, though. Ah, uh, so we're gonna say goodbye to Crocus. I'm so sorry, Crocus. I miss you so much. Ah! Ah! Oh, we got a guild, baby. Von Ro. Okay, and you've only got one turn. Baby, lady, just go away. Go away. Ah. Okay. Dinella, this is not good. This is not good. What the heck? We need everybody to get this guy. What the heck? Are you kidding me? I am so annoyed right now. You're gonna go after a baby. What the? Okay, we need to swipe down this berry bush. Are you kidding me? What is with this look? I probably should have just scooted Dianella further away. I'm so ridiculous. I'm sorry, you guys. I would have thought that she would have just stopped it. <sighs> Do not kill the baby. <gasps> you! How dare you! You killed our baby! Oh my god. It seriously killed our baby. It seriously killed our baby. I am beyond angry. Oh, oh, my! You just, you just oh. okay. I am offended. Oh, it was a cute little baby that was golden and shiny. What the heck? What was it? What was his name? Oh, he does. He doesn't even show. He doesn't even show. Oh, I am mad. I am so mad. I am so angry right now. Okay. So here's what's gonna happen. You guys are breeding straight away. And Isco, you are having as many bibbas as you can. I know we don't have a lot of food, but for peace sakes, that was ridiculous. That was absolutely ridiculous. And I don't know what we can worry about him. You know what, he's got sorta of low fertility. She's got sorta of low fertility. So let's fight against that. I cannot, I'm just, I am so legitimately mad. I should've moved Dianella further away. But okay, and Isco and her mate, and her mate, um, Ivan, we are taking over. They are taking over. The Ox Tribe has had the absolute worst luck ever. They have had the worst luck that I can think of ever. We're gonna pass the turn. Okay. Someone else just got hurt. Why did someone else get hurt? Did you hear that? Okay. Well, here's what's happening right now. We are sending Ivan over because he's gonna hunt koi fish. May Cece, are you? Oh, Kirtaro. Kirtaro, what the heck? I can't take Warnichens on, but you have E and I. Ugh. Okay, you know what? If I don't invite you, you're just. Kir oh, but there is a rogue over here. Are you leeched? Oh, you're leeched. What the heck? Are you kidding me? You need to hunt this guy down. Dang it. Dang it. Why is he running from us? Now we can't invite him. Ah, okay, sit here. I am, uh, oh my gosh, what is with this terrible luck? I didn't even know you were leeched. I'm frustrated, you guys. I'm so annoyed. Ah, uh, Kyotaro, why could you, why couldn't you just help us out? Just, dang it. Passing the turn, she's probably gonna die now. See what I mean? See what I mean? I'm beyond frustrated. I am this ox tribe. You guys have the worst luck ever, ever, ever. Okay, so you guys need to have more babies while you can. So what we're going to do is since Macy still has a decent amount of life, we're gonna send and nice go up here. She's going to breed and she's just gonna sit down. Who are you? You're a rogue male. Ugh! Leave us alone! 
You know what? Honestly, if my CC gets pregnant, I can't do anything, you guys. I really can't do anything. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to check on this little girl. She is G and C. Her name is Isriana. Oh, that's pretty. She's got she's got a claw at the very least. She's got a claw. She's got fishing tail recessive. She does have hemophilia recessive, so we're going to quickly put something against that. And I think that Ivan is very protective, so as much as he might want to, he does want to smack this rogue, but he knows that food is very important. He was born into a tough situation, so I think it, for his daughter, he's going to try to ignore the rogue and focus on taking care of his family by getting food. So we're going to name her Comet, because she's a burning little spark. Who will have a big impact on our little tribe here i seriously hope and i think my cc might have a special ability that we like to uh, like to refer to as mystic power well not really it's just uh, spiritual um connections i don't know but my cc she is going to look at her genetics and she's going to see i think she's going to hope that uh, there is another nichling born sooner that maybe we can invite that other rather rude nichling that just wouldn't accept it and help us with our poor little anise go but in any case we are going to have to sit him in here yeah he should be able to breathe we do have that rogue male it doesn't look like he can i don't think he'll drown i moved him around he didn't drown so he should be okay we're gonna pass the turn we do have a boy, so let's go ahead and check you out. You have G and A, so you guys might have to breed, but uh, it looks like we're okay there. So we'll take a look at our little boy. Oh, Tata, he has short-sighted eyes recessives and he has hemophilia, so we know what we're fighting against here. We want good eyes and we want normal blood clotting, normal blood clotting. So my CC, she is looking into his genetics and she's going to unfortunately realize that uh, the babies would be sickly and I think that we're going to really quickly let these guys breed oh come on a nice co okay you know what he has to breed with her um oh fudge I didn't think this through I didn't think this through anyway because she's not gonna be able to have that baby why didn't I notice why don't I ever notice these things this is so annoying I can't let her sit a nest in here. I can't. Her baby will get sick. Uh. Okay, great. We're gonna lose a baby. I'm, I'm, I'm not happy, you guys. I am so beyond happy. I am the frust. I'm frustrated. I'm angry. I'm upset. Okay. So I guess my CC might have to have some babies. Okay. Yeah. Goodbye, nice go. Goodbye to your baby as well. Oh my goodness. You're friendly, Barina, right? Okay, I was about to smack you. <sighs> okay. You are now grown up, so we might do some crabbit hunting. Let's go ahead and you can smack this for now. I think we're going to let her collect. We're actually going to send... Oh, goodness. We have a baby to look after, though. So we're just going to collect for now. Macy, see, ugh, this is her last day anyway. So I don't know what to do. Ivan's about to be stuck with a couple of kids that he can't. Oh my goodness. So I think Ivan, Ivan, just get rid of this rogue. Just get rid of it. Okay. So we're gonna scoot little baby. We're gonna scoot Tata. Is somebody eating from this? Is that you? Is that you, you rude little jerk? Oh my goodness, I'm frustrated. I'm <laughs> Uh -huh. These guys have the worst luck, and I can't. I keep missing things, and just I am. Uh, I'm sure you guys know how I'm feeling right now. <laughs> and he's stealing our food. We're gonna pass the turn. Say goodbye. At least now these guys are both able to take care of themselves. So we're gonna try to invite this guy. Just we're giving you some of our well-earned food because you keep stealing our food. So invite. And now you know what you're gonna do? You're going to collect all of this food for us, okay? Along with our little little babies here, they're both going to help us collect food right now, and Ivan's going to go fishing. I think Ivan, honestly Ivan, it's gonna be a better idea for you to just go down in this area over here. 
So we have six food. Great. We're going to pass the turn again. It looks like, though, with him showing up, we actually have a mate that has different immunities from our lovely, uh, lovely little comet here. We need to name Tata. So let's go ahead and give Tata a name. Ramsey. Okay, I like that. It's kind of, it's kind of feisty. But we'll go ahead, we'll give him a name. And wait, may CC passed away. Oh, that's annoying. If they don't mate, they don't stay in the family tree. Okay, Ramsey. So I think we're gonna do some crabbit hunting. We're gonna do some crabbit hunting. We're gonna sit her over here. And we now have more food. So that's a good, a good food haul. We're gonna collect up this, and right now we're going to just do nothing but gather food and maybe clear away some grass. Now Kirtaro has E and I, she has G and C, he has some bad genetics, like he has the worst eyesight ever. So we're going to go ahead, we're gonna we're gonna give him some normal eyesight there. And other than that, he's actually pretty Oh, terrible fertility. Okay, good thing I noticed that. So we're gonna give Kirtaro some better fertility and okay you guys. We're gonna gather this. All right, you guys, I just can't deal with the stress. I'm gonna take a break. So I will see you guys in the next episode. I, my goodness, the Ox Tribe, Acorn, Acorn, you're just not letting up. Can't you just let these guys get a breather, please? But Ivan, he's very, he's very determined, very strong, and he believes that his tribe will succeed if they fight hard enough. Sorry, right, you guys, this is it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I want to thank you all for watching, but I gotta be Baba Nana here, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye!